TV7 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Jerusalem's top defense official warns that regardless of any agreement reached with the Islamic Republic of Iran, its newly acquired know-how and experience within the context of Tehran's nuclear project are irreversible. Tensions are once again seemingly on the rise between Greece and neighboring Turkey after the latter sent a new scientific research vessel in the Aegean Sea. Regardless of any agreement reached with the Islamic Republic of Iran, its newly acquired know-how and experience within the context of Tehran's nuclear project are irreversible. Speaking at an IDF officer's graduation ceremony, Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz underscored that regardless of any action or agreement, Iran has managed to shorten the time required to develop a nuclear weapon. <laughs> וגם מול איראן המאיימת על היציבות במזרח התיכון. אנחנו יודעים שאיראן מתקדמת במהירות בשלל תחומים בתוכנית הגרעין שלה וצוברת כלים רבים. היא מעשירה אורניום, היא מתקינה מאות צנטריפיגות מתקדמות נוספות במתקנים מוגנים ומחבלת ביכולת הפיקוח של הסוכנות הבינלאומית לאנרגיה אטומית. חלק מהצעדים, מהצעדים האלו הינם בלתי הפיכים משום שאיראן צוברת ידע וניסיון שלא ניתן יהיה לקחת ממנה בכפוף לכל פעולה או הסכם שיבוצעו. Jerusalem's top defense official went on to highlight that while the threat posed to Israel from the Ayatollah regime in Tehran is definitive, the Iranian threat is first and foremost both a global and regional threat. Therefore, Minister Gantz asserted the crucial need for Israel to tackle this challenge in cooperation with its global and regional partners. ארצות הברית, אירופה וגם מדינות המזרח התיכון מכירות היטב את הסכנות באיראן גרעינית שיכולה להביא בסופו של דבר גם למרוץ חימוש מסוכן באזור כולו. איראן היא קודם כל בעיה של העולם ושל האזור כולו, אבל היא בהחלט גם איום על מדינת ישראל. לכן עלינו לעבוד יחד עם שותפינו, יחד עם ארצות הברית, עם, מזרח, עם מדינות אירופה, עם השותפות החדשות במזרח התיכון, ולוודא שאם ייחתם הסכם עם איראן, הוא יהיה כזה שיפסיק את פרויקט הגרעין, שיאפשר פיקוח אפקטיבי וארוך טווח, ויביא להפסקת ההתבססות של האיראנים בסוריה, עיראק ובתימן. וחשוב מכל אלו, צה"ל פועל במקביל לבניין הכוח, ונערך גם למצב שבו נצטרך להפעיל תוכניות מבצעיות בכדי למנוע מאיראן נשק גרעיני. כולנו רתומים למשימה החשובה הזו לביטחון ישראל. Amid international efforts to rekindle a diplomatic process that would guarantee that the Ayatollah regime does not acquire nuclear weapon capabilities, Israel is evidently promoting the need for a credible military threat that it would consequently deter Iran from making a conscious decision to cross the so-called point of no return in its quest for a nuclear bomb. The military option should remain on the table, should not uh, be excluded. I don't say by that that it is going, uh, that it is the first option. No, on the contrary. This is the last option, if at all. But it should remain on the table. Because if Israel will face a, an existential threat, Israel will have to use whatever need, uh, means needed, and it includes also a military power. It is interesting to know that in contrast to the Obama administration, which repeatedly highlighted that all options are on the table prior to the adoption of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA, on October 18, 2015, the Biden administration is reluctant from making such a definitive statement. Nevertheless, it is interesting to know that while the United States remains resolved to thwart Iran's path to a nuclear bomb by means of diplomacy, it is closely coordinating and consulting with Israel. 
we have committed to consult closely um, with our partners and allies, um, including those uh, in the region. Um, I, of course, the P5 plus one was the body that uh, ultimately uh, culminated or consummated, I should say, uh, the JCPOA, um, uh, the JPOA in 2014, the JCPOA in 2015. Um, uh, but of course, as you mentioned, um, there are um, countries in the region, close U.S. Uh, allies and partners, that uh, do have a profound stake in this, with Israel um, being one of them. Uh, and so that is why we, are, um, we have committed uh, to undertaking those uh, consultations um, uh, and consulting closely um, with our Israeli partners going forward. You've seen that um, now in a couple calls um, between Secretary Blinken uh, and Foreign Minister Ashkenazi. You, of course, saw uh, that the president himself uh, spoke to Prime Minister Netanyahu. Um, that close coordination and consultation is taking place uh, at multiple, multiple levels. The State Department spokesperson further highlighted the Biden administration's ironclad commitment to Israel's security. This administration um, and the President Biden's commitment to Israel's security is ironclad. Uh, you, of course, know that from his time as vice president, uh, when now President Biden played an important role uh, negotiating the 2016 Memorandum of Understanding on security, assistant, uh, security assistance, um, which at the time and still today uh, was the largest commitment to security assistance in U.S. history. Uh, under the terms of the $38 billion uh, MOU, um, signed by the United States and Israel in 2016. Um, we set funding for Israel at levels of $3.3 billion um, in FMF, uh, in foreign military financing, uh, and $500 million for cooperative programs for missile defense uh, per year uh, over a period of uh, 10 years, which is how you get to that $38 billion uh, figure. Uh, the Biden-Harris administration will uphold uh, the commitment in the 2016 MOU without reservation. Um, and uh, um, we will also take action uh, when it comes to our shared challenges uh, in coordination uh, with our allies and partners to deter and to counter uh, Iran's destabilizing activities, its malign uh, influence uh, in the region. There should be no doubt uh, that Israel uh, can count on uh, the United States. And we do remain committed uh, to the idea of Israel's qualitative uh, military edge uh, consistent with U.S. Uh, law. So, of course, there will be that close coordination going forward. It is worth mentioning that while the United States is keen on engaging with Iran diplomatically, it does not mean that it trusts the Ayatollah regime, which openly calls for the destruction of the United States and its closest allies, including the United Kingdom and Israel. Therefore, when President Joe Biden's pick to head the American Central Intelligence Agency was asked on the matter in his confirmation hearing, William Burns, a career diplomat who previously served in both Democratic and Republican administrations, emphasized the following. Do you think Iran can ever be trusted with a nuclear weapon? No, sir. No, I think it's absolutely important for the United States to continue to do everything we can to prevent Iran from developing a nuclear weapon. In other news, tensions are once again seemingly on the rise between Greece and neighboring Turkey after the latter sent a new scientific research vessel into the Aegean Sea. Well, Ankara authorities claim that the Turkish vessel, the TCG Sesma, is operating in international waters. Athens officials highlighted that the deployment of the vessel in the contentious area was an unnecessary move that doesn't help positive sentiment. Subsequently, Turkey claimed that Greek F-16 fighter aircraft harassed their research vessel on Monday, which in turn drew a retaliatory response. Arkadaşlar bu maalesef e, Yunanlı komşularımızın sık sık yaptığı bir taciz hareketlerinden en biri. Dün meydana geldi. Dolayısıyla bizim de kendimize göre kurallarımız var. Kurallar çerçevesinde gerekli karşılık verildi. Biz de kendi alanımızda, kendimizle alakalı teknik ve bilimsel çalışmamızı yaparken bu şekilde bir tacizin uygun olmadığını, iyi komşuluk ilişkilerine yakışmadığını hep birlikte görüyorsunuz, görüyoruz. Biz her zaman söylediğimiz gibi diyalogdan yanayız, iyi komşuluk ilişkilerinden yanayız. The Greek Defense Ministry rejected Turkey's allegations of harassment. Instead, it highlighted that the Hellenic Air Force was conducting an exercise in the Aegean Sea at the time. It is worth mentioning that a second round of exploratory talks is due to be held in the Greek capital Athens within the next several weeks, prior to a summit of European Union leaders 
scheduled to be held on the 25th and 26th of March, when the EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Josep Borrell, will submit a report on Turkey's conduct, including recommendations on whether to sanction Ankara over its energy exploration missions in the eastern Mediterranean. You know that currently we are in the stage when the High Representative is preparing his report as required by the December European Council. He will submit it to the European Council in March and uh, the issues between the EU and Turkey are a subject of uh, discussions among the member states. They have not been discussed uh, in depth yesterday. They were mentioned briefly because there were many other uh, issues on the agenda of the ministers, but this is something the European Union and its member states have um, in their minds and are watching this. And uh, as I said, all this will be taken on board and reflected in the report which will be submitted uh, by the High Representative on uh, way ahead or way forward uh, in EU-Turkey relations for the March European Council. Thank you for watching us. As part of TV7 Israel's prayer initiative, I would like to encourage you today to join myself and the team here in Jerusalem to lift up Italy in prayer for its salvation and peace, alongside prayers for our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world, in addition to our ongoing prayers, of course, for the peace of Jerusalem, the salvation of Israel, for all those who are impacted by the corona contagion and its numerous ramifications worldwide. Separately, I would like to thank all of you who partner with TV7 Israel. Your dedicated monthly support, both by means of prayer and finance, is of crucial importance for our ongoing operations. I'm Jonathan Hassan, wishing you an Erev Tovu Mevorach, and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.